Check out this cool Easter egg. There's leeches in the scar area of Desert Treasure 2 where if you give it an item, it will take its name. So let me just give it a shadow real quick and show you. Psych! This will delete your item, so definitely be careful when messing around. Anyways, Desert Treasure 2 is finally out. I want to give praise to Jagex on how well made and fun this quest was. The intriguing story enhanced by the unique puzzles and challenges that goes along with the story made it the most fun quest I've ever done on Old School RuneScape. So the goal this time is to get all the drops from the four new bosses, Artifice, Duke, Succulus, Leviathan, and the Whisperer. The most important drops will be the new best in slot rings that is a direct upgrade of the Diagonoth King's rings. The second most sought after drop will be the Soul Reaper Axe pieces to make the Soul Reaper Axe. The best melee weapon in the game for regular mobs and perhaps one of the new bosses. Virtus and other drops are desirable as well for Slayer and other things. And overall we will get all the drops. We will expand on those in a future video though. After finishing Desert Treasure 2, we got a bunch of combat XP, unlocked bosses, and the Shadow Ring. This ring also gives decent stats for free, but most importantly it has teleports that you unlock by defeating the 4 bosses. Each boss drops a tablet that unlocks a nearby teleport on the ring, so this will be super useful. Anyways, I am about to unravel over a week's worth of hard grinding at the 4 new bosses and we definitely had some good luck. So enjoy! For the first day of release, I decided to try out all 4 bosses just to get the basic strategies down for them and do 4 hours each. As I was doing a 24 hour stream and I finished the quest with 16 hours left, I went to the Whisperer first. This boss is resistant to everything but magic. I thought perhaps this might be the boss where Harm Staff could be useful, but it turned out Shadow is by far the best weapon there, followed by your standard Sang and Trident. There was no sort of fire weakness, so rest in peace the harm staff once again. Whisperer has a really cool shadow realm mechanic where you need to go to the shadow realm when she does her special attacks to prevent her special attack from killing you. It also has a sanity mechanic where if you take damage from her special attacks or stay too long in the shadow realm, it will drain your sanity. So on top of your hit points, you gotta worry about that too. If your sanity reaches zero, you will take rapid increasing damage till you die or teleport. She also does a combination of magic and range attacks that must be perfect followed by her tentacles that you have to avoid. Nice, nice, nice. Bronze longsword. Oh my god, dude. I can't believe they made this boss drop freaking bronze longswords. Woohoo, yes sir. Oh, what the heck? Oh man, I saw the glowing thing. Why are these unnoted? Do not be deceived, you do not get these kind of drops that often at all. Like that 7 Dragon Plate Skirt drop, that might be like a 1 in 100 or something. You normally just get drops that are maybe like 50k. But once in a while, you'll get like a 500k and even like a 1 mil drop if you perform really well. Oh! Whoa! What is that? A Sirenic Tablet? What is this? Does that give me the teleport? Oh, Lazar Underground, there we go. Alright, let's find out how close it is oh it's so close because basically you just use the teleporter and you're already there oh hell yeah thank goodness man really nice man now i can get back to this boss so much quicker for our second boss we went to duke succulus this is a melee only boss where a good slash weapon like the scythe or the fang and art light will do wonders the duke is part skilling and part combat you have to wake the boss up by creating a potion made from the mushrooms and salts you find in the room 2 to be exact. Waking it up starts the combat part. It has a dodgeable melee attack and a magic attack for when you are not next to him. It shoots toxic fumes periodically that must be dodged and alternates that attack with a powerful type bliss attack that must be avoided by hiding behind the pillar. I would say though this is the easiest of the four bosses. Oh, I got the tablet already. Okay, let's go. There you go. Nice, we got frozen tablet. All right, so we're going to be able to do this now. The Garuk dungeon? Yes, sir. Ah, very nice. Save us the hassle. Oh, damn, this is really good for Muspa as well. You can just teleport straight to Muspa now. 
with the ring of shadows that's actually huge what why is it not starting i think it glitched 166 dry narrow tips okay i can get it i can get on board with that mm -hmm. oh wow this guy does drop stuff <gasps> oh what is that i have the duke what is that it's still moving what is that oh wait is that the oh that's the axe oh my god i'm glad i stayed i'm glad i stayed yo i got the axe fees oh shit one out of four dude let's go man all, all this getting freaking uh dunked on by the boss paid off oh shit i got the eye of the duke getting the eye of duke Axe piece as my first drop definitely motivated me to try out the rest of the bosses and see where my luck will take me. Next, we went to Vardavis, another melee only boss where slash weapons once again is dominant. Most notably, Scythe, the Fang, and things like Blade of Saldor Whip is the play. This guy has a few variations of melee attacks. He can summon spikes that you have to avoid if you're not next to a wall. He can also stun you and you have to actually like click on these blood clots on the screen or else you take massive damage. The arena also has flying axes that you have to dodge throughout the fight. It also spawns his head that shoots a range attack that disables prayer if not prayed against. Oh, oh my god, no way! Yo, Executioner's Axe! What? No way, 2 out of 4. What? 16 KC. Wow, no way. Day 1. I already got the freaking uh, eyepiece, the axe head. RNG is definitely telling me to try and complete this axe. Oh god, this plan is just so annoying. Whoa, Onyx Bolts. Wow, that's definitely one of its better drops. Jeez. Oh, and I ran through them. Let's go. That was sick. Okay, okay. I think I know what to do. I think I know what to do. So we're gonna keep doing that because whatever we were doing that shit was working oh man that's so weird bro why would they make this guy drop medium clues oh four kill trip oh my god that was crazy four kill trip damn what a what a pb i went from two to four but i got food drops so that makes sense finally we headed over and did a bit of leviathan leviathan's a range only boss Star crossbow or a Fardinan bow with crystal armor is ideal for this boss. It shoots all three styles of attacks that must be flicked to prevent damage. After a set amount of attacks, it will send falling rocks that you must avoid and his attacks will become even faster. It will continue to attack faster until you stun it with Shadow Barrage which will reset his attack speed. Once stunned, you need to attack it from the back and it will trigger its special attack. So either dodge the electricity or explosion special. I decided to work on the whisper to get my third piece of the axe there after day one. This is going to be my setup for the whisperer boss. I got the Eldritch because I'm going to go ahead and use that for prayer restoration so I can stay there longer. The Venator bow is just so I can kill those ghosts. The more I kill, the better benefits I get. I'm going to go ahead and try... Arceus book because I don't really need to freeze the boss as long as I stay far away. So that way, I don't have to worry about freezing. So thralls for the damage. And yeah, we're going to use Shadow, of course, for the maximum DPS. Okay, I think I know how to do this even without it. I've seen this one enough times now, so actually you can do this without having to be in the Shadow Room. It's really nice for preserving your sanity. If you're having issues maintaining your sanity, then this is what you would do. But I think this will be good practice for the Awakened version. Ooh, I got a PV somehow. But we'll take it. Jagex definitely designed this boss with Venator Bow in mind because the Ghost Spawn special, Venator Bow is the only one that can get all of the ghosts, which will give you a massive bonus in terms of healing your prayer and HP back and your sanity as well. If you don't have a Venator Bow, I heard Runthorax is okay, but don't quote me on that. But make sure you tag the two Vitus ones because that one hits you a lot. And try to get the Oratio one for the extra prayer if you just have a regular weapon. You guys gotta see how much like junk arrows I got. I've never used them until now. Mostly gauntlet, I would say. 200k out of an arrow, 300k mithril arrows, 500k rune. I'm I'm never gonna use them all up. This boss is helping me dent some of it. 
Oh, nice. Awakener's Orb. Number three. Yay. All right, well, we need a lot more for the, uh, the Awaken challenge. That's for sure. Number three. It's a trap. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I accidentally fucking did it. I don't even know what how hard this thing is anymore. So there is a hard version for each of the four bosses, the Awakened. And you can use one Awakened Orb per attempt. So pretty expensive and not too many attempts that I can really do in the long run. But the idea is if you complete all four of them, you get this reward that will allow you to turn your Torva armor set, which I do have, into the Blood Torva armor redesign, which is basically just a flex. I will eventually get around to doing it, probably at the end, just for the hell of it. Oh no, I'm dead. I might be dead, guys. Fuck, it's 70? Jeez. Oh, there's four. Oh my god, what the hell? I have to leave because the insanity got fucked. Well, I just accidentally wasted uh, an Awakener orb, but okay. I can definitely see why I'm not gonna rush it. Yo, look at this guy. You saw that? It was glitching. Nice, we got uh, triple digits on the Whisperer now, so the first one. We're gonna be here until we get this axe piece, so let's see what we stop at. Maybe get the ring along the way. Oh! Yo, I got a Shadow Quartz? Oh yeah, that's for the Scepter. I actually prefer focusing more on the south side because the south side is closer to when he does the wave attack. So I did about an hour Whisperer and here's the loot. As you can see, this is like probably the bare minimum of what to expect because I didn't get any Awakening Orbs, which isn't too rare to get and I didn't get any of the big uniques. So as you can see, a mill in an hour that means you will definitely not lose money doing this boss no matter what but you want to definitely get the drops or complete the rings and the axes to make the big dollars or i guess get some vertus so it's gonna be one of those bosses where you won't make crazy money until you get the big drop oh man every time <laughs> i hate that noise it makes that sparkly noise and i think it's a the freaking axe Oh, oh my god, Virtus Mask. <laughs> Yo, oh, oh, shit. First Virtus piece. Okay, we'll take that, we'll take that. Yo. Dang, okay, maybe maybe we won't complete the axe anytime soon. But hey, we're getting some collateral stuff. Oh, <laughs> well, look at this manta ray. It's just literally floating in the air. <laughs> <gasps> oh, what the hell? A siren staff? Wait, 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 wait. What? Yo, 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 is that the axe? Is that the axe piece? Oh, shit. Let's go, axe piece. Oh, my. Well, I was like, what the hell is a siren staff? Okay, uh, whisper. Well, the plan to finish the axe as my first goal is working out really well. All right, I'm going to do this trick that Malgo Kirby showed, which allows you to get an extra ring of shadow just because if you die. Uh, you won't have a Ring of Shadow again, so then you have to run all the way back. But there's a way to get another one. I'm pretty sure is an oversight. Jax just forgot. This is Rice from the Future. You no longer need to do this trick to get an extra ring. You simply can just buy it, even if you have one in your inventory. There's a problem. I thought I prepped everything, but turns out I'm using so much prayer potions. And I really rather not waste restores if it's just prayer pots, boss, because I'm using mostly hard food. So, and now we're stocked back on prayer pots. It is time to head over to Leviathan and stay there till I complete this axe. I'm going all in, guys. I'm pretty sure the Soul Reaper axe is best in slot for Vardavis. So we will return to Vardavis for the B-Ring upgrade once I complete this axe and start working on the rest of the items. Yeah, this is why you want to use this. When the boss reaches 20%, it does the Enrage phase and then there is a White Orb that spawns on the northwest corner. And the white orb, you have to follow it because if you follow it, none of your attacks will ever miss, which makes the wet weaver bow specifically special attack go crazy because it shoots four times and all four hits will land and you can do even up to 100 plus damage sometimes. But it's usually very high damage, like 70 plus damage guaranteed. And you can do back to back specs if you want. Typically, you will kill it with two specs, but one spec is usually what I use per kill. And then I just blow pipe the rest down. Nice. Two-shot KO. 
Oh, we got the tablet. Yes. Yay, we can teleport here now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All four tablets are unlocked. Let's go. 27 kills. Yeah, I think it's like a 1 in 20, I want to say. Put this in. Yes, all teleports unlocked. <laughs> all right, nice. That was good. Ooh, I'm pretty sure that... Oh, 225 Dragon Bolts? This boss drops Dragon Bolts? I think I was on a perfect kill, though. Holy shit, that's freaking nice. Right, so how... Oh, nice. How, how, wait, that was perfect? I don't know if that's perfect. Dude, that was a 700k drop. Oh my god. Oh! Dude, I killed 400 Desert Treasure 2 bosses. And I got my first ever elite. Holy shit. It's definitely not like a 1 in 400. But damn, that took so long to get an elite clue. And I need elite clues. Still need 40... 43 more. Easy clue scroll. <laughs> What? What? Oh, holy shit. Okay, that was a perfect man. Um, That was a perfect kill for 270 raw mantas. Oh my god. These bosses uses up so much hard food. So such a good drop to get. Oh, smoke quartz. Let's go. It's not the axe piece, but that's cool. Oh, Chromian Ingot. Oh, shit. First one ever. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Got my first one after, like, I don't know, 500 total kills or something. Nice. So the ingots are necessary to make the new rings alongside the Fistage and the Berserker ring that it goes with. You need three ingots to make one of these new rings. Oh, Jesus. So fast. Oh, my God. That was the fastest speed. Yeah, that was a good kill. I don't know what, what the time it is. Oh, new new PB. Oh, no way. I never thought I would beat my old one. 113. I'll take it. Damn. Perfect kill. Soul rune drop. That's so nice. Look at that. 900. Oh, instead of the normal 600. Oh, we got a second one. Oh, my God. We actually might complete a ring before we actually complete the soul reaper axe, which makes sense because the soul reaper axe is way more uh, drastically rare to complete than a ring so yeah who knows let's see what happens first i'm really curious there we go guys 400 kc at leviathan we are um uh, four out of uh four out of nine basically on the way to the axe average piece so ak the leviathan's lore wish me luck wish me luck oh yo i just got onyx bolt tips perfect kill one mil drop holy shit <laughs> let's go Huge. Ooh, oh, we can absorb. Oh, nice. They made that a collection log thing. So, yay, free slot. <laughs> we did 500 kills at this boss now. So, that's really interesting. The shadow barrage that you use on the boss does not count as an actual attack. So, there is no cooldown. You can shadow barrage, spam the boss for a free hit. Oh, wait. What? I got a new PB, though. What the hell? 108. Okay, honestly, I'll take the bite. All right. I've already used easily over 2000 dragon bolts so far uh doing 600 of the leviathans honestly i might might be close to 3000 use so i've made a bunch more and as for dragon bolts we have 20k unfinished we can make but i think i'm gonna use a bit more and then stop because i'm pretty sure both uh, crystal armor setup is close similar to Zark crossbow and i'd rather just save some dragon bolts because once i'm out they take a long time to get so we're gonna use these in a bit more for the soul reaper axe grind 600 kc uh right. oh i got a third i got the third chromium ingot holy shit let's go on a clutch kill too well i just need any ring piece any the main ring piece and we can make whatever the ring is oh shit look look at that thing it's stunned i i i somehow like stunned the boss for like insane amount of time there oh what was it? that was weird i've never seen that before okay we're pretty much on right though 750 kills at this boss for the leviathan's lore so looks like we are gonna go dry for at least one piece but not enough to really complain about, of course. 
Nice, we hit 800 KC at Leviathan. Easily cleared the average here. Oh yeah, 900 KC. Damn, 100 more. And we hit four digits, goddamn. Oh, oh my god, I got the fifth stage. Oh, what? I got that before the freaking axe. Yeah, I had a feeling, you know. The axe is so much harder to complete. Let's go right before the end of the stream too. OMG, let's go. This is my spoils so far from Desert Treasure 2. We got the furniture vestige with the chromie ingots, the three pieces of the soul reprax of Earth's Mass, and 29 awakened orbs. All right, guys, I think I'm going to try a different setup now just because I've been using this same exact setup for 90 plus skills and I'm getting slightly bored. And I want to look for a more economical setup. Uh, Dragon Bolts, although I still have a good amount, it's uh, getting a little annoying to make. And uh, they are going down really, really quick. I think I already used like 4 to 5k already. I'm going to go with a different setup. Where it's going to be mostly crystal armor with the Farnum Bow. I'll still be using rubies just if I have extra spec. But I'm not going to be using it as my uh, passive attack though. So we're going to try that setup. I'm also going to bring uh, Smokebook Swap. So I can introduce thralls to my kills to just speed up the kills. I'm pretty sure I can do that. And if I'm not spamming rubies, I'll have a lot less damage taken anyways. Because I'm not using rubies as much. So that means I can just bring a bit more prayer, less food. Just to use thralls. So let's try that setup. Thralls. Arnim bow main with the Zara crossbows as sides for the spec. Damn. 125 though. <laughs> That was really fast. 125, so we can definitely still get really good times with this setup without the Ruby RNG going hard. Okay, 47 max with the Farnum Bow. Yeah, without the Ruby Bolt spam, I'm definitely just not using food as much. So I guess with this method, honestly, the trips are really good. This is like the perfect start, man. It's amazing. Yeah, F bow is a little, little cleaner to transition to lightning phase because yeah, I can just basically non-stop hit the, the moment I get to that spot with the F bow, no delay. Whereas with the crossbow, I kind of have to do a weird delay thing. So yeah, I'm really getting good at pathing this. A few tile markers definitely uh, helps a lot, though. I won't lie. Because in these corners, uh, sometimes I just get right here. There's made a distance, made a distance. Here? Nope, you're good. As you can see. Wow. Jesus. The last, like, 10 kills, the slowest time was 2 minutes. So, yeah. The Thrall tag is definitely helping. These smoke rune drops that I'm getting is actually really good now. Because we are using it right now for the 3 spellbook tech here. So smoke runes are actually useful now for a boss, which is amazing because I've never used smoke runes ever in my life. So I've collected a bunch of these from Smoke Devil Boss and now a bit from Leviathan as well. But yeah, it's awesome to be able to use a Leviathan. Smoke runes counts as fire and air runes. And when I use the smoke book swap tech to summon thralls and shadow barrage, it requires fire runes for thralls and air runes for shadow spells. So this is great because smoke runes uh, is basically both so I save an inventory slot amazing and I can keep using it forever at that boss Ooh, oh my god look at that that's a fat drop that's the second time I've ever seen that <laughs> smoke runes give me I need those yeah we hit a thousand KC at this boss all right, guys, I am going to conclude the video with loot from a thousand Leviathans. I've done a bit more, but I wanted to have at least a thousand in the tracker. Didn't track like the first day or so. So there was like a hundred, 200 kills missing, but it's okay. A thousand is a good sample size because we got some bangers in here. Uh, big ticket stuff, of course, is the Venator piece, the Fistage. So with the three ingots that I have gotten, I could make the ring, but I'm going to hold down that because I actually don't even use the Fistage. Venator ring at this boss. I'm currently using Lightbearer and it's definitely the best there. So I'm gonna hold out just in case if I go to like another boss, I get uh, the other fist stitch. I would like to make that first. So we'll hold out. But if I were to make it, it's like 90 mil at the moment, as you can see. It's currently traded for around there. 
so 90 mil on top of the regular loot which is 105 mil so let's just say 200 mil or 190 mil that's pretty good for a thousand kills because that includes a big ticket item now the leviathan piece for the axe since the axe right now is like 600 mil if i got that it would have been technically 150 mil value added on top but this is like what you would at least expect like the low end could be like 300 mil but 200 mil for me uh we got 16 awakened orbs lots of rune ore lots of onyx bolt tips those are a lot of money lots of soul runes that's really nice my favorite is definitely the soul runes the manta rays uh, i guess the smoke runes 20k smoke runes good for the boss itself dragon bolts is nice to help me uh cover for some of the ones i used uh it's not quite break even though I think I overall used a bit more than what I got. And I have gone really good at doing perfect kills, so I get them quite often. But might be a little bit skewed because of that, of course. Could be like, I don't know, 10 mil less or something. But it's the main big ticket items that really matter anyways. Uh, as for the other stuff, a uh, decent amount of ore, like gold ore, a lot of gems. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, definitely give it a like. Also consider subscribing and ring the bell if you want to see more progress videos and other cool videos from me. And feel free to leave a comment. But other than that, I'll see you guys soon with hopefully another really sick video. Bye.